Hi, and welcome back to Beans and Bezels. I previously reviewed the Circular Aquasport, which is their latest dive watch. I enjoyed it and I was very impressed with the value that was being delivered. I only had one minor criticism of that prototype, and that was the dust and microparticles on the dial surface. None of that was visible to the naked eye, so not, not a deal breaker, and definitely not when you consider the overall package. Today I'll be looking at one of their earlier releases, the Circular Classic, which is a well-designed and well-proportioned dress watch that is offered in four different dial designs. These watches retail for roughly 350 US dollars and use a Miyota 9015 movement, which I think once again delivers a good amount of value. Let's check it out. The case is quite simple, just as you'd expect from a dress watch. The case is 39 millimeters in diameter, 45.5 millimeters from lug to lug, and just over 10 millimeters in height. The case has all brushed sides and polished top surfaces. The finishing on the case is very good and better than the Aquasport prototype that I previously reviewed. You have a pair of slim lugs that curve down towards the wrist with a lug width of 20 millimeters. There is a polished bezel surface that seats a slightly curved sapphire crystal with two layers of AR coating underneath and an anti-fingerprint coating as layer as well. I haven't heard of that before, but I'll take it. There is a beautiful push-pull crown at the three o'clock position that is shaped like a rose and is actually very easy to grip and operate. I like this a lot. Flipping it over, you have an exhibition case pack that is attached to the case by means of four screws. This watch is rated for up to 50 meters of water resistance. The dial is beautiful and they've done a great job selecting their colors here. The sunburst blue base is an excellent shade of blue and works well with all the orange accents. You have an outer minute track that is printed in orange with Arabic numerals for every five minute increment. The quality of printing is good. You then have polished applied indices for each hour marker. The finishing is good, but I notice a bit of dust and dirt on most indices. Not uncommon for a $350 watch, and none of this is visible to the naked eye, so we're good. You then have the brand's logo printed under the 12 o'clock, and automatic above the 6 o'clock. Good printing quality, so no complaints here. I like the bold Made in Germany printed above the minute track at the 6 o'clock position too. The hands are very sleek and fit the overall dress watch aesthetic quite nicely. The finishing is adequate, but not excellent as I notice some scratches and dust on them. I do really like the orange seconds hand and the orange minute track, and I think the dial looks great because of this. So overall, the dial is well designed and more than adequate for the price that you're paying. I wouldn't say that the quality control is great though, and it's pretty much similar to what you'd expect from a Seiko watch in this price category, which isn't really a compliment. This watch uses a Miyota 9015 movement, which is quite good for a $350 watch. There is a ghost date position, which is completely fair given the price range. As with most Miyota 9 series movements, there is a bit of rotor spinning noise and some gyroscopic wobble, but this has more to do with the movement itself rather than the watch. I was on a tight schedule with these two circular watches, so I didn't have enough time to do any accuracy measurements. The dimensions make it a comfortable watch to wear on my six and a quarter inch wrist. If I were to compare this watch with the Seiko Presage cocktail time that I previously reviewed, this one wears much better and feels more like a dress watch thanks to the 10.5 mm height versus the 12 mm on the Seiko. The lug to lug width is also more compact at 45.5 mm versus Seiko's 47 mm. I prefer my dress watches to wear smaller, so this appeals to me more. It sits low and feels well balanced and wears exactly how I'd expect a dress watch to wear. Given the slim Miyota movement inside, I think they could have attempted to go sub 10 mm in height as well, but I'll take this. The leather strap that they provide is good, with a signed buckle and fairly comfortable leather material. Overall, it makes a very good argument for providing value for your money. The case is well made and well finished. The dimensions are great and the movement is better than what you typically see from watches in this price range, which are usually Miyota 8 series movements. That said, I expect micro brands to do better than mass manufactured watches like Seiko. And unfortunately, the quality control on the dial of this watch was not really any better than the Seiko cocktail time that I harshly criticized a few weeks ago. So if I were asked to pick between these two watches, the main aspect that separates this watch from the Seiko is the more comfortable case proportions. And I also personally prefer the Miyota 9 series to the Seiko 4R35. So the choice would be easy, easier for me, but your preferences may vary. Once again, thanks for watching and don't forget to read the full review in the link below.